Sorry, Chase, could you squeeze a little bit towards Vito? Sorry. He smells bad. Yeah, that's good now. Thank you. I'll be right. Chase, what do you think was the difference between Vito's and this game? The way that you guys were able to deal with more opponents and getting on the rebound, things like that? Well, you know, offense wasn't very good tonight, to be honest. Uh, Cairns, credit to Cairns. Like, first off, before I get into anything, like, hell of a job by them. I think we're very aware that if they'd have been healthier, not only Scott, but Pinder and McCall, the whole series, it might have looked a lot different. Like, they're a great team um, with or without those guys. But, yeah, um, credit to 40, credit to their group. They gave us all we could handle and then some. Uh, he did a great job. He was my vote coach of the year. He did uh, everything right this series. We just got hot for a quarter at the end, and that was pretty much the difference. So, um Back to your point about the difference in, in game one and game two. Watching the film as a coaching staff in game one, we'd been switching a lot. And you know that was kind of trying to match their small ball and stuff. And we came out of that film session just uh, appalled at the way we were soft on the ball. We were just off people. And it was just really easy, everything they did. So the game plan tonight was to get back to kind of who we were, put both our bigs in center field, and everybody else get up into the ball, be dogs, and, and try to make their lives tough. And I thought. Justin Simon, especially on DJ Hogue, was a, an elite performance tonight defensively. And I mean, DJ Hogue's a heck of a player. I know he's probably gassed after carrying the load the week he has, but um, I thought Justin did a really good job on him tonight. I thought that was a key. Um, and then the way X guarded McCall, something we kind of found at parts in that game too, but really helped us tonight. What can you say specifically about Justin on Hogue and like, I guess the nine points that just eight? Attempts. And I would say like five of those points, I think were on other people at least. Like you know, just was just terrific. Just like you said, eight attempts. He just didn't let him get going. He didn't let him shut, shoot the ball. And that was our plan tonight. We were in what we call no shift, no help, meaning you don't have to. You have no responsibilities other than take him away. And I thought Just did a great job on it. Uh, it's been a tough series for DJ. Um, you know, what was there anything different that you guys approached with this game, or do you sort of trust that he's going to? Well, and again, I mean, I don't know. I got to go watch it. It felt like a majority of, not a majority, but a big portion of that was in the fourth, too. And I, as it came off the end, I was like, you know, heck of a job trying to find the right time to mix in a make. And he, he mixed in a few. So um, we got so much faith in DJ, you know, that over the, you know, the, over the course of a, of a series or a game that he's going to come good. And yeah, he was terrific helping us get across the line tonight. Can you give us an idea of why you think it was so tough to put them away? They're a tough team. Forty's a great coach. They compete their ass off every single possession. They don't care what's going on. They just want to claw and scrap and fight. And they did that every single possession the whole series. DJ, what was tonight like for you knowing that you have the capacity to do this, but it just wasn't clicking the first two games and you found a way to sort of explode in this game? Yeah, I was just watching a bit of film. Um, talked to Luke Longley and Andrew Boger before the game. They said, look, like it'll come. And obviously game three and big moments. You know, I had to step up and just be aggressive, kind of keep the defense honest. I don't think I did that in the first two games, and then just let it come to me, and yeah, it just came. So, how has being in these situations before helped you, you know, you know, temper your mind and know that you, know, you can go out and continue to do this stuff? Yeah, I think last year when the shots weren't falling, I was getting a lot frustrated, um, and then this year it was the same thing at the start of the year. But it's just continue to keep doing what you do. You know, I've done it, you know, pretty much my whole life, and then just believe in yourself and. You know, the coaches believe in me, all the players, you know, you know, believe in me, so it's just staying confident. Tonight was very impressive defensively from you guys as a unit, um, six points in the fourth quarter. You know, what's it like being involved in that sort of unit when you guys are clicking on that? Yeah, I think we just went back to being us, you know, centering the ball, no one else scout, um, full credit to Justin, what he did on DJ Hogan, and then everyone else just chipped in, and yeah, we just locked in defensively. You know, Chase has been emphasizing that the last, pretty much last month, because we've been pretty poor at it. So to get back to where we were, you know, full credit to the guys. Uh, Chase, your team, one of its identities is that's depth. Um, you know, I think Quad stepped up, and Sean Bruce stepped up, and you couldn't play Jordy. You know, how tough is it to? lean into certain matchups based on the series and, and, and not other ones. And is, is it tough telling guys that hey, maybe this matchup doesn't suit you? Or? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, I don't want to say we couldn't play Jordy. I, I hear what you're saying. I, I do think Jordy, if we'd opted to go that route, would have given us a lot of value this series. I just thought Kawat, maybe it was 
the cans match up, and a lot of different things. It just felt like it was a it was a bigger series for him. And credit to Jordy, you know, it's a tough position to be in. He came in tonight and gave us huge minutes, especially in that first half. So, um, and Jordy is going to be huge for us next series. But to your point, yeah, it was it was a little bit different. I think we still went pretty deep. Like you know, Kawat played big minutes for us tonight and throughout the series. Brucey was huge tonight. I thought. Um, and you know, glove gives us something. Our whole bench is is there. It, it spurts. So, um, yeah, I think it's a. Hu I forget the question now, but our depth is a huge asset for us, and and they were definitely in this series too. Uh, is there any issue with Derek's hand? I think he's favoring that left wrist. Derek Derek likes to, uh, you know, milk some things. I think sometimes, and so I die. You know, he's being tough as hell playing through it all for a month and a half plus now but I think he's good I think he's good how close was um, Zay Cook uh, to not playing how was his ankle or how far when did you sort of yeah I mean you know going back to the other night I think they told me if we really needed him he could play and I just felt like in the moment he wasn't very good in that game didn't feel like we were having much of a chance to win it it just seemed smart enough to shut him down and give him every chance for tonight uh, I know he's hurting. He he battled like hell to to play tonight and to play as well as he did. Um, you know, eleven rebounds. He's just I can't thank him enough. Couldn't be prouder of him. Like he's just a warrior. And yeah, hopefully we'll this extended layoff will give him a time to get healthy. Was there a plan to when I mean, you've got a, a bunch of point scorers here and you said everyone kicked in? Um, was that a plan to take the light off him? I don't know. I mean, we still try to probably go through Zabe a lot and, and do a lot of things through him. It it's, seems wasteful probably to not play through him a lot when he's on the floor, him and Derek especially. But um, no, we just try to come out and do what we normally do. Uh, this is the third straight game where one of their sort of ancillary players has managed to go off, Jonah to Lat to Ben Air in this game. Um, do you see that as an issue at all, or is, is that sort of by design? Yeah, I mean, it's probably, at the end of the day, what we're trying to do. Like, in a playoff series, you want to take away the DJ Hoax. And granted, DJ Hoax went in game two. It was he, him going nuts and, you know, Latman going nuts and Ben Air going nuts. It was just we couldn't shut – we didn't have enough to shut off all of them. Um, tonight, we shut off DJ, and that was really a priority. I think X did a great job on McCall, as, as did everyone who guarded him. And, yeah, somebody's going to have to beat you at some of those points when you're doing everything you can to get the ball out of those other guys' hands. Anyone on the Zoom? Good boys. Thank you. Appreciate it, John. Thank you, guys.